They call her a cold queen, who's murdered bold kings and said cold things, freezes hearts to death and goes and counts her gold rings. In a castle filled with ice strife and spotlights that doesn't melt a drop on hot nights, it can't be cracked, broken, chopped, or sliced. And then she cracks grins as she clutches her wand tight to cast spells upon herself that turn her heart into solid rock ice. On a college campus, eking out enough space for her to fall into three social categories, prude, slut, or bitch. She doesn't comply with this, so they call her a cold queen. Cause she does her own thing and has the confidence and common sense to not put up with being treated like an object by the male populace with the beauty as obvious as her mouth is honest to tell you you're on an ego trip and you need to get the hell off it. I mean, good goddess. She stands out like the oddest, with strength of the strongest, she gets more pissed than my mom gets. Refuses to be modest for the sake of being real, she's all up in my system like a bong hit. <laughs> it's complete bullshit. I've never smoked anything in my life, but after I first met her and told all my friends how cool she was and how someday I was gonna write a really great slam poem about her, they could've swore I was high. My eyes soaked with courage, pouring from her presence, saturated to this day, which is why I still address this message in honor of such a bold woman who can even defy the sun when it gets jealous and calls upon a tempest in efforts to wash away her bright, captivating, cloudless complexion. But it can't happen, because she has the muscle of Mount Everest. She can walk away unscathed, thrown on her black leather jacket over her broad shoulders that extend out like two cliffs, holding up her hair from swinging like her two fists whenever guys start grabbing her and making sexual comments. And they still call her a cold queen. Like my dad would call my mom lazy and criticize her body. He would forget to thank her a lot, but he always remembered to let her know that she isn't shit and that her job at the hospital as a nurse is worthless. For 10 years, my mother's mind battered with verbal abuse from him until one day she packed my sister and I in the car and left him. Now this gallant and benevolent single mother still puts up with long distance phone calls from him calling her a bad mother like my friend Karina would put up with her boyfriend calling her a smart mouth just before he would beat her to bruises blemishes and abrasions I said Karina if he doesn't stop I'm gonna make him she was like no we're getting married and my heart sank and then the tears came because I knew she wasn't gonna leave him no matter how much blood he would take it was too late like for a friend of mine who woke up one Sunday morning to find out she had been raped, so shocked she couldn't enunciate. Hate to save late, I've been losing faith. I can't figure out if this poem is bullshit male guilt or me trying to tell this queen that I care and pray none of this shit she should ever have to face. But I'm trying real hard to understand. If I ever hear anybody call her a cold queen again, I'm gonna have to protest it. Sam, watch your mouth, little boy. She's a bold queen well-respected like a street empress. So you should show some respect because even the street lights are bowing at her entrance. If you don't like her, it's because you don't know who you are. And she stands out because she knows who she is. Proving true when it was said, woman is the name of God on all lips.